So this is number 18, and here you see a bunch of fractions, and you also see a variable. Now once you get into algebra, you'll see a lot of these. You'll see X's and Y's and Z's, and in this case you see the letter P. P is an unknown. It doesn't, we don't know what it equals. So I'm gonna just put that here. P equals a mystery. So let's read this. If four over three divided by one over six equals P, then the value of P is between which of the following pairs of numbers? So they're asking you to find out what the mystery is, what P equals, and which range of numbers does it fit in? Does it fit between three and four, five and six, six and seven, seven and nine? So let's figure out what P equals. So when you divide fractions, this is how you start. In middle school, you may have, you may have, you may, in middle school, you may remember that when you divide a fraction, you take the second number, you flip it upside down, and you turn it into multiplication. You're going to flip the six and the one, and you're going to turn it into a multiplication problem. So watch what I do here. So I have four over three. That stays the same, but now I'm going to multiply by six over one, because I keep and I flip. I keep the four over three, and I flip the one over six. And now it goes from division to multiplication. And for me, I remember when I was a kid and I first learned division, I was like, man, division's hard. But multiplication was easy. So when I was told that fractions go from division to multiplication, that made me a little bit happy. So let's see what we got here. So we have four times six, because when you multiply fractions, you just multiply straight across. So on the top, these get multiplied. And then on the bottom, these get multiplied. So four over six is 24. And then on the bottom, we have three times one, which is three. So four over six, four times six is 24, three times one is three. Now, we have a problem here is we have something called an improper fraction, which means it's a fraction that's greater than one. So, and I over here, I just have digits. I have numbers. I don't have any fractions over here. So what we have to do is we have to convert that into a number, into a decimal that kind of fits in here. So let's see what happens. So we have 24 over 3. This is our numerator. This is our denominator. And if you remember, the, den the numerator goes inside the house. And just in case, I know it's not going to be a decimal, but let's put it in there anyway. And then the denominator goes outside the house. So 3 goes into 24 8 times. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 minus 24 is 0. So the answer is 8. So 3 and 4, that doesn't work. 5 and 6, that doesn't work. 6 and 7, that doesn't work. 7 and 9, 8 does live right in between those two, so D is your right answer.